Hey, Wasabi, Operation Android here. And if you want to learn how to do this, stick around. What you'll need for this video is a jailbroken iPod, iPad, or iPod Touch. You will also need an emulator of your choice. Click on the picture of the emulator that you want and don't worry it will open in a new window and when you're done just come back here. Alright, besides the emulator we need the magic, a tweak in Cydia called Display Out which mirrors your screen onto your external display, for example a TV, projector, or a monitor. And to do that you'll need to connect it with an Apple TV which I find is the best way or you can use Apple component cables which is actually what I use or you can use Apple composite AV cables which are also very good or of course you can get an Apple VGA adapter but you'll need your own VGA cable for that also you can use third-party cables that connect to your iPhone and TV that aren't Apple with a tweak called resupported now this doesn't work a hundred percent of the time so don't blame me if your third party cable does not work, but the Apple cables are surefire 100%. Now let's continue over to the iPhone screen. Now the first thing that we're going to do is open Cydia. And now Cydia is going to load and what we're searching for is display out. So I'm going to go to search and I'm going to type display out. And the first thing that you're going to notice is that it's blue and it's an tweak that you need to pay for and it's approximately $2.99 but I recommend that you do install it and pay for it to support the developer but I know some of you guys are tight on money or want to try it out before you even buy it so what you're gonna do to get this free is we're gonna go to the manage tab then we're gonna click on sources and then on the top right we're gonna click edit top left add and the source we're gonna add is the source that's right here the insanely I source so to add that we're going to type in R E P O period I N S A N E L Y period then dot com. You're going to click add source then a prompt's going to come up and you're going to click add anyway. I'm not going to click it cuz I already have it, but you guys click add anyway if you do not have the source. Now it's going to load a black prompt with a ton of stuff. It's going to download it and install it and then it's going to tell you to return to Cydia. Click on Return to Cydia and now go to the search tab and search Display Out. And now you're going to see right here there's a Display Out that's not blue. So you're going to click on that one and you're going to know it's the right one because it's going to be the Insanely Eye one. As you can see there, it says Insanely Eye. Or um, another way to check is right here in the information it says Eye System. So whatever, you guys are going to click on the top right install and then confirm. I'm not going to click on confirm because I already have the paid version. So once that's done you're going to have display out. Now this is for the people that are using third party cables that aren't Apple cables. You're going to need resupported and again you're going to notice that it is a paid application and resupported is approximately $3.99 but if you want to get this for free if you don't want to invest that much money or try it out and you're going to click on the insanely i one which is looks just like that and then you're going to click install and confirm alright but i'm not going to click it because i use apple cables so once you get all that done we're going to go home and i'm just going to show you guys um, the customization that i use for display out so when you're playing with the emulators, the orientation that you're going to want is landscape left so that when you play in landscape, it's always going to be in landscape. But if you're not playing in emulators, you're going to want follow interface. All right. And maximum screen resolution, you're probably going to want this one for iPhone 4s and iPad 2s. Or just go by what cable you're using, just like that. As you can see, this is VGA, HDMI and all that good stuff. Dim brightness I put to never. Um, suppressed flicker is on. I left this just how it came stock these little uh, knobs here. Show taps. Um, this is just like when you're using a keyboard if it were to show the taps. Um, show on external di display. I have that just because I like how it looks. Um, and that's pretty much it. You could adjust the tap size. 
but um, I like it to keep it to, to little. And that's pretty much it, guys. Now, when you connect your cable to your iPhone, it will display on your screen. It will show your screen just like this. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and here are some more videos you might be interested in. On the bottom left hand side of the screen, you can see some books. Those are Pokemon Adventure books, and if you click on them, it will take you to my Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green on my iPhone, which is a playlist of me mimicking red from Pokemon Adventures while playing Pokemon Leaf Green on GPS phone, a GBA emulator for iDevices. devices. And if you haven't noticed, I'm playing Final Fantasy 7 on my iPhone 3GS, so if you want to learn how to do that on your iPod Touch, iPhone or iPad, click on the TV screen. And to the right of the screen, I am controlling the PlayStation 1 emulator with my Wii Remote. So if you want to learn how to control your emulator with a Wii Remote, click on the Wii Remote in my hands. And as always, if you like this video, click on the like button. And if you would like to be updated on my recent work and videos, click on that green subscribe circle over my iPhone screen and just below the TV screen. See you next time.